You know, no one leaves their home country and goes to another country with an intention of living in the streets of that country. No one in their right mind will be paying huge amounts of money uh, to end up or to migrate to another country and then end up in the streets. No, I don't think anyone would plan something like that. Okay, and um, when you hear some stories on the on the internet, it's very very concerning. And I know, guys, you have heard about it. And my Kenyan uh, sisters and brothers, I know you have heard about the whole uh, the whole thing that is circulating on the on the internet about uh, some Kenyans uh, being uh, on the streets in Canada. And I know it's not about Kenyans. Uh, I know there are other nationalities and I know uh, there are other people probably in the same situation, you know. But I I wanted to, to say this, that every person who migrates to another country, their sole interest or their sole intention is to look for a greener pasture, to better their lives and that of their families and when things happen I know nobody plans to fail everybody wants to succeed in this life but sometimes things doesn't happen the way we planned and sometimes it's just because of one mistake or two mistakes that something we could have corrected or we could have dealt with before we went that far and sometimes it's just ignorance or ignorance when you hear these stories of people coming from back home and ending up in the street something is not right somewhere something is wrong somewhere people are using the conference visas to land in Canada and then uh, they, they seek asylum or they fail to return home. I have heard of agencies that are promising people uh, when you go to Canada, you're going to change your visa, you're going to get your work permit, you'll be able to work, you know. Or they even tell you with your, work, with your visitor's visa, you'll be able to work in Canada. My dear, there is no way you'll be able to work in Canada without a work permit. Your visitor's visa doesn't allow you to work in Canada. You cannot be able to work in Canada without the right papers. Okay, so when people promise you that once you get into Canada with a visitor's visa, that you'll be able to work, that you'll be able to do this and that, I want you to go and sit down and do your own research and get to know better. Because some of these agencies, they are using that to lure people into their agencies and to charge them lots of money only for them to come here without a plan and finding out that it is not as they were told. You pay millions of money and then land in Canada without a plan. My dear friend, you are going to suffer and it's not going to be, you know, it's not going to be easy on you. It's not. It's not going to be easy on you. I can tell you for sure. It's not going to be easy. So, before you, you, before you pay somebody money, before you take that flight to come to Canada with a visitor's visa, do your due diligence to find out the truth, to find out the process, to find out how things work in Canada for people who hold a visitor's visa before you even come so that by the time you come you have a plan you have a way forward of how things are going to happen like you you know you know what you're going to do rather than getting here and getting stranded the other thing is those people who are coming with the uh, 
the conference visas you know you come in with the conference visa and then they they refuse to go home and then they seek asylum that's okay that's okay because i know canada is very very open to helping uh, refugees and they 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 are very good at that actually and they protect them very very well you know they are protected but again it's it's your responsibility if that is your plan it's your responsibility to know how to go about the whole thing it's your responsibility to know where to start and to know uh like where you can be able to find those services some people are landing in cities where they don't have the refugee services or they don't have the asylum seekers services they have to to travel to another city to get those services it's very expensive so know where you are going do your research do they have the services there will i be able to get uh the help that i need there uh rather than coming and then you're like okay they, we don't have those services here if you need those services you have to travel to another province you have to go to another city and you don't know where to start okay my only concern is are you doing your research when you're making such a move it's it's very important for you to know your next move or, or your next plan rather than coming without any plan or rather than landing here with no plan at all and no money to make it worse because the government of canada it's very intentional especially when people are coming to canada and that is because they don't want to bear the burden of helping other people uh when they could have used the right pathways to be able to get the right papers okay and that's why they keep on asking uh for proof of facts that you can be able to show that you can take care of yourself you can provide for your family you can provide for yourself once you land in canada because no one wants to carry somebody else burden you need to take that responsibility to research and to get more knowledge of whatever pathway you are using and be able to have a plan if you know which city you're going to you can be able uh to ask around from your hometown from your county from your state and know if there is somebody from that area who lives in that part of Canada where you are going to or in that particular city and you can be able to connect with them probably even before you land and maybe they can help you out once you land you know rather than just coming blindly you don't know anybody and to make the matters worse you don't have even enough money to rent a hotel to stay in Canada has a, a very very straightforward immigration uh, process or immigration pathway and there are so many pathways right now that are open for people to apply and uh for you to come through the right way without having to struggle you know and you just need the right documentation the right papers and if you can be able to get a visitors visa that means you can also be able to qualify for another pathway and why don't you try a pathway that gives you a status rather than coming to seek for status and to struggle while you are here you can be able to do that while you are still at home like apply for those pathways that can bring you with the permanent residence uh, or that um or or those pathways that will lead to a permanent pathways and it's very very straightforward many people can be able to do that on their own if you know how to use a phone you can be able to apply for those uh pathways online without needing help of any agency without needing help of anyone as long as you you have 
the document that they're asking for okay and it's just very very straightforward you don't have to pay uh, an agency millions of money to do that for you and you can imagine hmm? after paying people a lot of money and then the, the, the disappointment that follows you're thinking uh, you are going to uh, you know a land of honey and milk and then you end up struggling in your first day of landing I think that is not the best experience and these are things that can be avoided and you don't have to go through it when there are so many other pathways where people can be able uh, uh, to use to get to Canada okay don't look for those shortcuts kindly do your due diligence before you board that flight to Canada before you pay anyone you are hard earned money huh? before you pay that money make sure you have done your research make sure you have you have a plan in place in case things doesn't turn out how you expected so uh, with that few words or many words uh, I wish you all the best and please be very careful and watchful in everything that you do. Until next time, bye-bye. Take care.